This video was brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. In today's video we'll use the website, Arcade Database, to automate the process of managing a main ROM set, to only working ROMs, that will work with the controls on the cabinets I'm currently modifying. This is similar to ROM Lister, however it is 100% online, and with Arcade Database, you're not limited to ROM set 162 and older. The Arcade Database is linked in our description, and is a very powerful way to select main ROMs that work with your main build. You can filter your games by multiple variables, and getting started is as easy as clicking on games in the side menu. By default, you'll see the main cab only, show clones, and latest release with version number all clicked. These defaults filter out a ton of unneeded options, and I would recommend keeping them all clicked. For my first selection, I'm going to further filter my ROMs by the genre driving. I would also recommend that on the additional filters drop-down menu, and under the general tab, that you take advantage of the emulation filter. I'm going to select working and imperfect as these should filter my game list down to only playable games. We now have a manageable list of 540 playable driving games, an arcade database gives us options for exporting this into a few different formats with tons of options. We'll be making a simple batch file to copy our selected games to a subfolder, but we'll need to make a few changes to the batch file to meet our needs. The first thing we'll do is extract the batch file, and then open it in an editing program. I'll be using Notepad++ to edit the batch file, and to make the needed changes. We'll be making changes in two lines of code. The first line that needs to be edited is line 9. This code sets the value for the main root folder. Here we'll need to copy the location of our main ROMs folder. Your ROM folder is going to be in a different place than mine, and that's normal. Please copy your settings in place so the batch file will know where it needs to look to find them, and of course make a backup of your files before you use this tool. The next line of code that we need to change is line 32. We need to remove the first three letters of the code in that line, where it says, R, E, M. Once that is done remove all of the text that says titles, leaving only one backslash. We'll also need to replace the verbiage of dot, P, N, G, to that of dot Z, I, P, or dot zip. This tells the system to look for zip files, and not images. The last change that we need to make to our batch file is telling it where to copy our files to. You can name this folder anything you'd like but please make sure that its name's accurately in your batch file. I'd also recommend keeping it in your main ROM folder as the batch file program is pre-geared for that. Now that we've used Arcade Database to give us a manageable list, and used Notepad++ to edit that list to meet our needs, we can execute our batch file, and it'll automatically copy all our pre-selected games to our driving folder. Very neat, and super easy. We now have copies of all of our listed games inside our driving folder. We can now take these ROMs and copy them over to our driving main cabinet. I'm also building a cabinet that will only use a trackball. Because of this, I'd like to make myself a second batch file, and as I'm sure you guessed it, this one will be geared at trackball controls. For this list, I'll be using most of the same settings. However, under additional filters, and in the input tab, I'll make sure and verify that trackball is checkmarked, indicating that I'm looking for trackball-based games. Again, I do recommend setting the filter for working and imperfect. This will give you games that main can emulate to a playable level. If your system can't play it then it's hardware-related, or your ROMs are missing files.
The arcade database also gives us a nice snap of the games in our list. This can be helpful in identifying the games and giving us an idea of what games have made our list. We'll also need to make the same changes to the trackball batch file, as we did with the driving batch file. Basically taking out all of the titles verbiage and leaving only one backslash. Replacing all of the dot, p, n, g, with dot zip, and last but not least renaming the, copy to folder. In this case we'll be renaming it to trackball. If you've done everything correctly your batch file will look in your ROMs folder for the requested ROMs, and copy only those ROMs to the folder that you specified. All you'll have to do is copy your newly selected ROMs to your cabinet. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. It really helps the channel grow.